Well, today's video is about the junk drawer. So I am going to share with you how I cleaned out my junk drawer and to ask the question, do we really need a junk drawer? So stay tuned if you need a little help with the clean out of your junk drawer, if you're curious too, if you want a junk drawer anymore or if you don't, the controversy arises. Well, hi everyone, I'm Davey, and today I am sharing with you the cleaning and organizing of my junk drawer and whether or not you really need a junk drawer. So we do have one in our house and it is in the kitchen on the end where we have our letters for mail. We do not have an office or a desk space. So this is why we have a junk drawer in our home. Maybe in your house you have an office space so you do not need a junk drawer or maybe you have an office space, but you also have a junk drawer. I am not gonna tell you yes or no on whether or not you need a junk drawer. I'm going to let you in your household hash that out and figure out if you want a junk drawer in your house. But I think it's important to have an organized junk drawer if you have one. So I took everything out, wiped my drawer down, cleaned it out, and this white bin that I have, or this white caddy, is a utensil organizer and I just use it in our junk drawer to organize everything in that. And I always wipe stuff out like I said and put it back in then once I went through and decluttered everything I had in it. So I went through my pens and donated most of my pens. Who needs 100 pens, right? You really only need your favorites like a black, blue, couple colored ones, some highlighters and a sharpie and then a pair of scissors of course. And then I had like 15 notepads, so I'm donating some of those, just keeping like five or six little sticky pads and business cards. We like to have those there just in case we need them. Um, just other things we need are right there on hand. You can open it up and see everything. Now here comes the dilemma if you think you need a junk drawer or not. So with junk drawer, the title already degrades the drawer. It makes it seem like anything that goes in there is junk. It is not. Most of the things in there, for us anyways, are things we need. They're necessities for um, making a household actually more organized, like notepads and pens and letter openers and sticky notes because I use those to help my mind and memory and life be more organized, right? Uh, does anyone else do that too? So I think I just need to rename my drawer to a necessities drawer. So maybe for you, you have tons of other stuff in there. Go through your drawer today if you have time and go and see what really needs to be in there. Maybe you don't need that pair of sunglasses in your junk drawer and it just needs to go into your vehicle where you're driving all the time in the sun, who knows? But find different places that maybe you can then get rid of the things that make that drawer junky looking when you open it so that you can see everything clearly and cleanly when you open that drawer and you can have it be a necessities drawer. And maybe you're one who has that desk, desk so you can put all your office supplies there and you don't need to waste a kitchen drawer with a junk drawer. So like I said, I'm not gonna tell you one way or the other if you need a junk drawer or not. I know for our family, we do have one and we are going to call it a necessities drawer from here on out, at least I am. I don't know about my husband. But it just is a place now that I like to open and see the visual of everything. I can grab a pen, I can grab a notepad and not have to worry about it closing again because it got stuck or not finding the notepad I want. So it just takes time to clean and declutter. It really took me 15 to 20 minutes to do it all. It did not take that long and got rid of things I truly no longer need in that drawer. So ask yourself the question, do I need a junk drawer? And if I do, what is the state of my junk drawer? Can I make it better so it's more convenient and easier for my family? Anyways, I wanted to share this with you because it's something that needed to be done and why not share the cleaning out of a junk drawer with you guys to motivate you as well since it's just a task that most people probably actually fear because there's so much stuff in junk drawers. 
But anyways, I hope it was encouraging and motivational for you. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I really like sharing these type of videos for you because it helps keep me on track as well. So also if you're new and you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet and you're thinking about it, I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. And also if you think this would help motivate or encourage someone else, share this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be coming at you with another video next week. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.